Total War is in a strange position these days following the debacle surrounding Creative Assembly last year. And even though Feral brought us some amazing Total War titles to mobile, there are no current official plans for more grand-scale mobile warfare in the Total War universe. But what if I told you that Age of Empires is being remade for mobile devices by passionate fans alongside the Xbox Game Studio World's Edge? That's all about epic scale warfare. Age of Empires is a known quantity in the strategy genre, but that hasn't exactly held the series back from remaining legendary and popular, with tens of thousands of people continuing to play every one of these games every single day. The core gameplay loop of Age of Empires and its dedication to fast-paced and calculated gameplay means that for the past 20 years, the series has remained a titan in the strategy genre. And thanks to Teamy Studio Group for sponsoring this video, I'm able to show you what Age of Empires Mobile is all about. And if you want to know more, make sure to follow the link down in the description to visit the official site and pre-register the game in both the App Store and Google Play. Age of Empires Mobile now takes this entire series into the palm of your hand, but it's doing so in a way that seeks to retain the spirit and feeling of the Age of Empires you know and love. Age of Empires Mobile doesn't just look like Age of Empires 4 in terms of art style, but its rendered art, the forward movement of history and technology, and most important of all, the gameplay loop, meaning producing and collecting resources, developing your tech, training your armies and using it all to conquer your enemies, it's all here, alongside even more new mechanics and innovations you've yet to see anywhere else. Adapting Age of Empires for a mobile platform does require clever thinking though, since obviously we're moving from a mouse and keyboard based setup to one based on touch. And as with other strategy games on mobile, a great deal of thought has been put into making Age of Empires complex actions and commands usable with easy to learn finger movements. So why is it challenging to create an RTS game that performs well on mobile devices? Well, it's because on phones, you can't really provide as many intensive and frequent commands and actions as you can with a mouse and keyboard. Additionally, the number of units you can control is often limited, which significantly impacts the RTS gaming experience. Even one of the most successful RTS games, namely this one, took many years to explore and accomplish this adaptation for mobile devices. That doesn't mean Age of Empires Mobile is simplified though. We still have the series signature siege battles, open battlefields now with supposedly hundreds of players on the same screen at once which sounds insane, but what might just stand out the most seems to be the entirely new hero system, which includes upgrading and mixing legendary historical figures to build the greatest armies known to man. Of course, Age of Empires Mobile also offers a single player experience with deep empire management on the world map, fighting PvE battles, or even take the fight into dungeons and embark on PvE encounters, which sounds like nothing AoE has done before. Thing is, the development team behind Age of Empires Mobile has been focusing on developing mobile strategy games for 7 years, and Age of Empires Mobile has been developed by what really seems like passionate developers with a lot of love for this series. Age of Empires Mobile is a fresh take on the Age of Empires series. We've preserved the classic Age of Empires elements as much as possible while introducing new gameplay and controls optimized for mobile devices. We hope to deliver that classic Age of Empires feeling in a brand new experience. To keep it true to the series as we know it though, it's not just being developed by fans of the existing franchise, but it's being co-developed by World's Edge from Xbox Game Studios and Timmy Studio Group that's overseeing the entire Age of Empires series as a whole. Timmy has also developed several globally renowned mobile games before, such as Call of Duty Mobile, Pokemon Unite, and Arena of Valor. I think for a mobile game like this to truly work, and for it to make the transition from its classic medium to another, it's vital that we have true fans in charge of developing it. And if anything, it bodes really well for the game that it's being co-developed by fans and the actual custodians of the franchise. From the trailer, it's evident that what's present in the game harkens back to what makes Age of Empires so iconic, and I love that it's actually represented here as well, making it feel like an actual Age of Empires iteration with a twist. We have the return of villagers, trebuchets, the gathering of resources through jobs like fishing, hunting, picking berries, farming, mining, and so on, and music and sound effects remain with the same themes, which should keep that soul intact. What will be different is the pacing of buildings, which looks to be more classically mobile-like, but we can still make use of our workers to make the processes of building or hunting go faster, which means we're still getting that good old Age of Empires game design here. The same goes for sieges and warfare, by the way, where the design is all about tearing down the enemy's cities and fortifications, and it actually looks like the Age of Empires as we know it. And I love that what's shown here is not just some fake footage, but actually how the game will be played, allowing for grand-scale warfare. For example, in other mobile war strategy games, when the values of a city reaches zero, you typically just conquer that city. 
but in Age of Empires Mobile, we can tell that cities are three-dimensional. You can attack city gates, demolish buildings, and engage in flanking maneuvers, just like in the classic franchise. Once you breach the city gates, you can engage your enemies in direct combat within the vast city walls, and it looks a lot deeper and more engaging than a typical strategy mobile game would. Indeed, a lot of effort has been put into making each civilization feel unique and look distinct. Every playable empire has their own architectural style and continue to look unique as they evolve into new eras. The exact same goes for the historical characters in the game, like Joan of Arc of France and more. In many ways, I think that these characters can actually bring even more historical immersion and uniqueness to Age of Empires than even the PC games, and the way they're animated looks amazing honestly, especially for a strategy mobile game. Some of the most important features of the game include exploration and discovery, the classic Age of Empires nation development and the building of your vast armies, terrain will limit field of vision, meaning it's vital to maintain focus as you go. Strategy is just as important of course, but now you not only have to take out enemy towers and other placements, but you can also fight against or alongside hundreds of other players in real-time combat, something that's never been possible in traditional Age of Empires before. The player commands up to 5 troops at once, and you can also control siege engines during alliance sieges for example. And of course, we have our legendary heroes, and not just a few of them, but over 40 different ones, ranging from Joan of Arc as we said before, to Leonidas of Sparta, and even Frederick I, to so many more. You can even combine the abilities of several heroes into one, and their animation work and detail in-game has also been a main focus, meaning we are essentially getting a whole new side to Age of Empires here. And of course, it wouldn't be Age of Empires without the unique civilizations, and for the first round, you'll have the option to play as the Romans, the Byzantines, the Franks, and the Chinese, each of them with their own unique buildings, units, and challenges. Age of Empires Mobile looks like a one-of-a-kind mobile game that's set to rival the best of them, and it's going to be exciting to see how it actually plays when it comes out. One of my biggest questions, for example, is how it's going to play against the likes of the Total War mobile games, which are actual ports of existing games to the handheld format essentially one-for-one one versions of the older games. They did have some limitations there, of course, in that Total War is essentially a lot more complicated, so it can feel a bit finicky and tricky to convert your PC knowledge of those games to a touch-based control system. But for Age of Empires, I think that transition will be much easier, actually, considering that ordering units around, raising buildings, and just generally everything you do in a traditional Age of Empires game is approachable to most players already, and will likely nail the transition from mouse and keyboard to touch-based systems because of it. I really think Age of Empires Mobile looks like a promising strategy game contender on handheld devices, and it's exciting to see the series branch out and really try something new, which I've been asking for for ages. Follow the link in the description now to see more from Age of Empires Mobile, pre-register the game in both the App Store and the Google Play Store, and let me know what you think about the game thus far in the comments. And as always, I would love it if you left a like and sub to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much to Age of Empires Mobile for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!